What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Solo Chogokin Aphrodite A. So you can see right here I have a cardboard box since I opted to do the collector packaging from Big Bad Toy Store, uh, which is where I got this. So if you guys end up liking this, that's where you're going to go. There's a link in the description below. Aside from doing the cardboard, they've also wrapped it in this nice plastic. So for those of you that want to keep stuff completely hermetically sealed, that's an option for you. I tend to just choose it just so I get a nice box or whatever. But uh, here it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead, uh, get inside and check out the box. Now technically the Aphrodite A, the GX08 as it's called from the Solo Chugoki line, it was like the eighth release or whatever from that line, it's not a new figure. Uh, this is, this is a repaint. This is a GX 08 40th anniversary uh, which comes with a special 40th anniversary box it's got a matte finish with the shiny bits there similar to uh, like a masterpiece transformers box um, on the back here you can see the actual figure uh, normally they go crazy with a bunch of pictures they've kept it simple and the biggest difference between this and the original is the metallic paint which is exclusive to this release let's go ahead and get in there we'll pop this open and the first thing to pop out of here is a teeny little styrofoam bed which is where the main figure is we also get a tray here the bottom tray which are the hands and part of the stand there and a little piece of paper to protect I guess the finish of this I don't know um, we get uh, ooh, missiles and we get right here guys you have to appreciate this not only do you get these big missiles here but you get uh, as I love to refer to them titty missiles these are actually her boobs right here you get four of them and notice how I run my fingers up and down because why not and you get the little dome for the head and you get the uh, leftover breast pieces from when the missiles shoot out you can plug them in because uh, that's what they're supposed to look like uh, so yeah and then this should be oh the, this is the instruction booklet and a little sticker I, I don't understand why they give a sticker some of the solo chogo kings they have little metal or chrome plated plaques to put on the stand this is a sticker I'm not even gonna bother to put that on I don't use those stands and then we have the divider here and the actual stand so let's get in here take her out alrighty look at that look how well they protect these things this is what I love about uh, you know, die-cast collectibles uh, right here and they, they, they should be protected this way I mean you buy these uh, for their awesomeness and their paint which is incredible especially Bandai's paints and here it is and because it's an early uh, you know styled uh, Chogoking, uh, Solo Chogoking it's, it's heavy uh, as the line moves forward and they get bigger the die cast is less and less but this is uh, I think all die casts I don't feel any plastics but uh, the chest right here this area with the fins is plastic the head but other than that uh, yeah she's I guess completely metal as is evident by all these screws back here so you get a nice metallic matte finish for the gold and you get a nice shiny uh, like I don't know purplish light purplish pink lavender I don't know what color to call that now as you can see she does stand well enough on her own but what I am gonna do is set up her base so I can put her on display and not scream when I find her laying over scratched up against something so we'll set her up with the stand during a, re a review also so here it is again I'm not gonna put that sticker plaque I think stickers are stupid um, but you'll see it's got a space here for her feet and again she can stand well enough on her own but these are little feet I don't know if I'm gonna trust that uh, you know with my daughter running around and shaking the displays all the time um, so we'll put her there and then we're gonna set up this thing right here all right and actually I don't even need to do the stand just yet so we'll move that here uh, we'll just put it together real quick and then pop this piece up here uh, so we've gone ahead and created the stand uh, but we're gonna check her out a little bit I did show you the paints and everything else uh, I'm gonna add her hands and then we'll get into articulation so she does have uh, various hands she's got open hands relaxed hands and fists uh, they're very feminine looking hands uh, they're kinda smallish and thin uh, but I'm still gonna use the fists I think every robot should be in a fisted position uh, when relaxed but if you're gonna pose her in 
you know, action poses. Maybe you might want to try the other ones. And it's weird. These uh, doesn't feel like PVC. It's kind of weird. Almost feels like just like some other kind of soft plastic. But uh, anyway, so there it is. And the dome. We need the dome and we need those titties. All right, so let's actually put the titties on. They're just normal. These don't have nipples like some of the other ones, so it's a little boring. Just add that on there. There you go. Very bulbous, I should say. And speaking of bulbous, we are going to attach the little canopy here, whatever. But let's take a look at the detail of the pilot area here. We can get it to focus. I would use my macro lens, but I can't find it. But at least you can see what's going on there. Very nice detail for the size that it is. And we'll go ahead and attach this. So there's a little overhang on the plastic. I believe the overhang goes to the back. Let's see. Yes. And the little dome, it's, it's a really soft plastic. It might even be just clear PVC. But there you are. Little dome going on right there. Um, so we're going to check out the articulation now that we're here. We have the head here on the neck joint, which you can look around, up and down. Not too much movement at the neck there. Uh, and it, it's only at the neck, not at the base of the head. Right? We have the uh, shoulders here, which swivel around. Just be careful not to scuff the paint. Uh, all the joints, by the way, are die-cast metal also. We have the double-jointed elbows. Look at that. They look a little weird here, but they are double-jointed, which is awesome. Uh, the top is the ball joint, the bottom is just a swivel, uh, or, or whatever you want to call that. And then, obviously, the bicep swivel there. Um, again, die cast joints. Uh, the upper body uh, and the waist here is one piece, but you do get the bottom here that moves. Very, very tough to move. And just got to be careful not to scuff. Uh, so I'm not going to really do too much movement there, but you do have the waist and you shall turn around and do whatever you want. And... Right here, her crotch joints, also die cast, very heavy duty looking. And they look like they're colored chrome. I don't know if that'll chip off. It's hard to tell. Uh, but they do swivel this way. She's twerking. And you got the knees here, which have the same design as the elbow. The top is a ball joint, the bottom is just a swivel this way. So you can see it's a double jointed uh, knee design, which is very cool. And then we move down to the ankles here. So. The ankles are also ball joints on the feet here, like so. So you may have checked out the review for Venus A, which is another uh, booby-firing robot, which is actually based off the same mold, uh, just different sculpting of the head and everything. And she had a firing uh, titty design. So we're going to check that out. She's got the buttons back here. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait for me, doll. All right, there we go. Let's do it again. There you are. Very, very frisky and aggressive. Now in the show, after she would fire, it, they wouldn't stay like that with big holes with springs in them. Uh, they'd actually have this look to them. So we'll plug that in. And the other one here. So that's what she would look like uh, after she fires. But these also fire since they, as you can see, there's a lot of force in these things. So she's obviously got that gimmick. And <laughs> this is awesome. There's two gigantic missiles, which I'm sure also come out of here in the anime. I haven't watched it, so I, I couldn't really tell you. They are labeled uh, right here, 2-1 and 1-2, so they're opposites. Uh, but you'll notice those, those tips of those missiles, they look uh, sort of like uh, memory glands. And that's because they are. So you can take these off. These actually have nipples. For those of you that were disappointed that the other ones didn't have nipples, look at that. That's ridiculous. Madonna action going on. That is so silly. All right, but let me let me get serious here, folks. I am a professional reviewer, so I must treat it as such. Uh, so yes, there she is with her weaponry. Very Japanese of you to have that. And uh, of course, these will shoot out, and they probably hurt a little bit more since they are pointier. Ouch! Ouch! All right, and this one I'm not even going to fire because I will lose it. Let's just pop it off. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to this figure, guys. I mean, it's I showed you the articulation. I showed you the awesome weapons she has, her little gimmicks. And she's pretty much ready to go on display forever. 
All right, so we're going to put her on the stand here just to show you how the stand works. It clips right around the waist. It's not. It's a non-adjustable stand. Uh, I don't know if I really like the way it clips on the waist because I don't know if it's going to scuff up the paint. But again, I won't be touching this much, so let's just leave that the way it is. It looks like this leg is shorter than the other. Is that possible? No, I guess not. It's just a little matter of adjusting here. And uh, again, we're going to place that clip around the waist. And actually, before I do that, since I was going to do this anyway, uh, this is what I usually use to polish, uh, you know, when I have time, to polish my Chogo Kings. So what I'm going to do to keep the paint from really scratching up is kind of just get a little coating on it. Small amount. I'm not going to do the whole figure, but what I'll do is just apply it. And it actually gives it a nice little gleam there. Alright, so we'll do that. At least protect the paint just a tad when I put that clip on. Alright, so once I'm done with that, we'll just pop her on here, clip this on. There we go. Now what's cool about the stand, it's got some little the things there so you can put the parts. So it's got the parts for the gigantic uh, missiles there. And on the back you'll see some little holes. We'll turn it around carefully. And you can apply here the spare pieces. All right, just like that. And the spare boobage we'll just put right there. So that's pretty cool. You can put all the pieces there if you want it. And then we'll just get really close here so you can really appreciate the excellent paint that's been applied to this figure. So that brings us to the end, guys. If you're interested in getting this, you can get it. Big Bad Toy Store using the link below. You'll find this and many other awesome things there. And if you're enjoying the videos, please subscribe, support the channel so I can bring you more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will try and answer them as much as I can. Until next time, bye-bye.